I brought my agent to my show to main room. Oh yeah, how'd it go? I bought my dick off. Farting in regular yoga class, fine. Farting in hot yoga is... First of all, just want to touch on that. Not fine to fart in regular yoga class. Do you know how many shows I've done with people I didn't want to fucking see? I don't. A million? All of my bridesmaids are wearing potato sacks. I don't give a fuck. I wish I was worse when I drank so I'd stop. Boy, the dicks I've sucked for literally nothing. Ah, oh, here we go again. Welcome to Swap! Oh yeah. Hello, Hello. Slobs. Welcome to Slobs. <laughs> what an intro. We sound like we're sleepy. We... Welcome to Slobs. Well, well, I'm Walter Cronkite. What's his name? Walter Cronkite. Is that what it is? <laughs> and that's the way it is. And that I've never seen that. I've just heard people make fun of Walter Cronkite uh, so many I times. I don't even know if I'm actually making fun of him or making fun of Bruce Almighty doing an impression. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. that's the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like it. Did you ever see that movie? <laughs> no, Dude, but that's funny. it's so funny. Jim Carrey. I can't believe I'm talking about Bruce Almighty. It's a movie from like 2003. But there's a scene where um, he's just this like news reporter who gets shitty news segments and he's interviewing this uh, old couple that has a bakery and they're they're making the world's largest cookie. They're trying to bake it like break a Guinness book yeah. of record. It's this like Eastern European couple. And he's like, tell me what inspired you to make the world's largest cookie. And they're like, man from health department. Say he find rat pellet in pastry. I tell him, no, it's big chocolate chip. <laughs> so we closed down. It was, I don't know. It was the funniest thing. I've no, ever. let's, y- you Let just, me just quote the entire book. Yeah. Welcome to Bruce Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> and I just sit here nodding the whole time. <laughs> and uh-huh. that's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, Jennifer Aniston is his girlfriend in that unrealistic i mean i'm sick and tired of casting her in comedy movies nothing wrong with jennifer aniston if you're listening to slobs put a non put a not super hot lady yeah yeah let's let's have some regular gals let's looking over here at tolev let's cast me in one of these things huh let me be someone living in the sewer who yeah 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 yeah. we both just is there anybody up there (laughs) hello I want to be cast in the remake of Oliver Twist as the Artful Dodger. I thought you were going to say it, it, but you're the female clown living in the... Okay, in that's it. hurtful. Okay, that's the line. But I'm cousin line. it as it. Yes, that's the <laughs> line. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, hi, we're fine. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I just got back from uh, Philly in New York. It was a lot. How was that? You did a show in the round. You like filmed a whole fucking... I filmed a whole fucking thing. I want a quick shout out. Uh, we had... Several people come from Slobs. Yeah. Somebody in Philly gave me a little present that I couldn't bring yet because it's for the three of us. Oh, and so I don't get to see it because you Laura's don't get to on see the road? It. That's exactly it. Well, this hurts. I'll wait till next week. We all get it. And then uh, two other gals came to San Diego this weekend wearing Slobs merch. <gasps> I know. It's it was very happening. nice. I know. It's Speaking nice. of merch, I have my own merch. You guys check it out. It's pretty cool. Okay. I, yeah, it is cool. That's my plug. Look, go to the link in my bio and get weird mushroom merch. You should. That's so great. Yeah, I've been, uh, the last couple months, I mean, I haven't been on the road nearly as much as you have, but every road show I've done, there have been yeah. at least a handful of Slobs fans, Yeah, which yeah. is the fucking best. It's really nice, and it makes my heart warm. My heart And maybe warm. that's because of all the vaping I've been doing, but I, I'm quitting in the new year, so I've been sucked in these vapes back oh my god I, I didn't know you were a big vape i didn't know i was either this this kind of started recently and i'm just like huffing it really <laughs> that's like okay i'm having an insane moment and maybe my adderall is too strong it's the regular amount i take i feel like the bubbles in this bubbly water are so loud does anyone else hear no me? you're that's okay the i'm yeah, losing that's... well now everyone thinks i'm insane um but oh I? But New York, I want to I want to talk with New York a bit because I think it's a uh, Philly was crazy. I was also insane doing Thanksgiving weekend is not the best weekend for shows. People still came out. It was nice. Oh yeah, they're like I gotta get away. It's everyone who's like I gotta get away from my family. Yeah, but they're probably drunk off their ass, and it's oh, Philly, yeah. so they were drunk off their ass anyway. Yeah, and I know we're on this Philly's diet, fun. and I know I'm not supposed to be drinking, but I did have a little slip up. I had some tequilas one night. Uh, I tequilas. Went to- Tequilos. Uh, more than two uh, ounces of our weekly allotment of tequila. Oh, I had more than two ounces. <laughs> I go into this, so I we get to Philly, and I'm like, fuck, Philly is inside a pint glass. Everyone's drunk, there's cobblestone. It's Ireland. Oh, I'm like, yeah. where the fuck am I right now? It's the old 
I was going to say the Old West, but it's more the Old East. It's the Old East. So yeah. I go to Patty's Pub because I love the, of it's course, Always the Sunny. Of course, called Patty's Pub. So it's, it's based after It's Always oh, Sunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I walk in and immediately this woman's like, holy shit, it's Steph fucking Tolev. And I'm like, what? And then what? everybody else in the bar looks at me going, who? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you don't fuck. And I'm like, I'm so embarrassed. So her and her husband were like these big, like, like Philly fucking accent, Just fucking Philly Jersey fuck fucking you. accent. They bought us shots no, all we fucking love night. Your oh yeah, it was crazy. We, they were hilarious. I got. I, I've learned all about gun permits in different cities because I told them I wow. needed a gun for my stalker. Oh yeah, I learned a lot of stuff. And then God, um, a gun. I got absolutely blackout. And then uh, <laughs> I was wildly ill. The hangovers are not normal anymore. No, very sick. I, I like don't think I can drink anymore. Very hangovers. sick. But it was it was so Philly was fucking crazy because that night two people came up to me after like, are you famous? And I was like. No. No, they're like, well, how does that girl know you? I'm like, oh, whatever. So like, they added me on fucking Instagram. They're like, can I get your Instagram then? I'm like, okay, this is bizarre. And they were like, you are famous. And then I was like, no. And then, but New York, <laughs> I felt, I will say, I felt famous in New York. You um, are famous. The show was crazy. Based on New York. The show was crazy. What's the it show like? was fucked. So, so it sold out. Audience on all sides. Yeah. So the stage is in the middle, all sides, four cameras. Cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some people interested. I don't want to do the whole YouTube route because I have fucking no followers on YouTube anyways. Follow me yeah. on YouTube. Um, <laughs> follow me on YouTube. YouTube. I have literally no followers. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm, I don't want to do that route. I want Netflix. <laughs> if you're listening um, to, I, I'm so it's like a sample of what the special would be. Yeah. So I was trying to do like half crowd work, half material. And I did quite a bit of crowd work, but I got, I got a nugget right at the beginning. You know, when you get those nuggy nugs. Yes. Well, I mean, it was like a perfect, like this guy was sitting there tattooed front row, just big fucking shitty and grin on his face. And I was like asking if everything's tattooed and he's like, <laughs> almost. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, it's close. There's stuff close by, but I'm like, well, he's like, yeah, I have something above my penis. I'm like, what is it? And he's like, oh, I can't tell you. And then his girlfriend's behind. Him. I'm like, what does his cock say yeah, tell us. immediately? And she's like, <laughs> it says, don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> No. And I'm like, are you are you kidding? Fucking kidding. I me. went off. You better believe. So that like set the sh- like such a fun tone for the show. And he was so into it. Like he was laughing and like it was that's, it was I'm, wild. That's fucking wild. What's yeah. it like having to like turn on all sides? It, it, I thought it would be feel crazier, but it felt more natural than I planned on. Really? And it was fun because then I was like, I was like threatening. I'm like, if you don't laugh on this side, this quadrant gets all the attention. Because I was like, I'm like, you're just gonna stare at my sweaty asshole. All yeah. Night. Oh, and I peed a bit too. I gotta stop. My act outs now are out of control. I, yeah. If I yell a bit, a big dollop of piss comes out. You yeah, know, you no gotta problem. do more uh, glue bridges. Are supposed to tighten that. I, I've been floor. doing them and the Kegels. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was fucking crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, I, I, I mean, that standing crowd, ovation. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I yeah. felt psychotic. Standing ovation, yeah. uh, like 300 people. Yeah, that's. I mean, I know you're just in the thick of it, but just so you know, New York is the hardest place to sell tickets. Is it? Yeah, New York and LA because there's so much going on. Everyone's like trying to see some fucking famous, whoever the yeah, fuck yeah, is, yeah. you know, passing through town or like you know some A-lister in a Broadway musical. That's huge. If yeah, Netflix doesn't give you a special. Netflix. 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 I'm asking you nicely. <laughs> Just give me a thank you. You've made enough bad decisions at this point. E- and I've watched most Yeah, of them. I've watched a majority <laughs> of them. And um, um yeah, no, we're, let's just say we're trying. We're trying. That's it. There's nothing um, yeah, there's nothing happening right now, but that's that's that. Well, that's good. And it's yeah. good to fucking you know what though? It's like I think it's good to shoot for that. I think it's cool that you're saying it out loud because I think there's also yes. a lot of people that go, you know, I wanted to go independent. I no. wanted to do I didn't want any restrictions. It's like, no, no, just no one wanted to buy your thing. And that's okay. Yeah. And you don't have to wait on someone to buy their I mean, fucking I, I'm not saying that this was the case, but like Fahim Anwar just got on that LA Times list of the yeah, best yeah, comedy yeah, specials yeah, yeah, yeah. released on YouTube, produced by the comedy store. Like, Fahim Anwar, I, I need to talk about him for a second because I okay, so I'm in New York. I love that you just discovered how really great he is. I, I knew how great he was as a stand up. Yeah. I knew this. But my buddy Alex Pavone, who opened for me in New York, who fucking annihilated. He fucking, of he's course. so physical. He's so perfect in that, in that space too. He did an act out with French doors and he opened the French doors to all sides. I'm like, this is psychotic. That's it amazing. was really funny. It's also just to like, cause how, how rare it is to get to do a show like that and just to already have the, yeah. To, oh, to know yeah, to yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he's a fucking physical lunatic, but he's like, do you know who Lance Kinstopoulos is? I go, who the fuck are you talking about? We watched <laughs> the He-Man Wars, Lance Kinstopoulos, literally 
three days straight. I can do his entire heckler video that was filmed here at the store. I can do it. I can do it verbatim. That's I have obliterated you. You will never forget this night. And I know the whole thing. I was like, literally, I'm, I want to go as Lance for Halloween next year. I'm you, not joking. That's so I swear funny. To God. You need to remake it. Also, I, did, I want to. There was a period of <laughs> I should, time. Wait, should I do, or I do a documentary on me being such a big fan of Lance that I'm just now doing Lance. Yeah, that you're like a can't. <laughs> what is like, what is the deadhead equivalent of a um, can't stop a list fan? Like a. Won't stop a list? Yeah, can't stop, won't stop a list. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was insane. And I, I told him, I sent him like a million photos of me and Alex. And then Alex every morning would come out of his room and do the full jump twist spin. And I'm like, we're crazy. That's so We funny. watched it so much. Oh, yeah. You have I feel- can't stop a litis. I d- I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there was a while where I like, do. and it's how he got some of those videos, but he was straight up on the lineup as Lance Can't That's Stop That's so Alitis. fucking funny. Yeah. Well, and I think everyone was doing this like, I mean, it was so funny. We're crying, laughing. And maybe I'm just projecting this. It was a thought I had where I, I want, I'm curious if he thought about it. Where I was like, what if this blows up so big that he yeah, has to become be. like the yeah, Larry yeah, the Cable yeah, yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. And which I think is some comics fear of doing a character. Yes. Is that then you're going to have to be like, well, now I'm Debra. Yeah. Like, well, that's whatever. what happened with Marcy. Yeah. Marcy got to a Marcy got to a point where people were like coming to see Marcy. And I'm like, I'm Marcy. There's I no am. Marcy. This is Marcy. Like, I don't know tell you. But I, if you haven't watched... Fahim Anwar's Lance Kansopoulos. I, I gotta give a shout out to it. It's the fucking funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's it's the funniest thing on earth. The, the only thing I've seen that comes close to that, and it's also Fahim's, is he has a video. <laughs> he has a video of him <laughs> doing an audition. He's like, this is my audition for The Invisible Man, which was a horror movie where a man was invisible and like attacking people. <laughs> and he's fighting off an invisible man. That's and it's so funny. The funniest thing I've ever seen. The fact that like, he should be, when people talk about the greatest working comedians today, mm-hmm. his name should regularly be in that. And it's just like... How he's not on like ASNL, which that's mentally ill, or he's not on like a big fucking sitcom right now. Show. It's like, crazy. It's, it's really wild. wild. He's, he's definitely yeah. submitted. <laughs> well, that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we, hey, I think hey. he was above like the criteria. Like he was too good. Yeah, I mean, we've all submitted. Yeah. We've all, we've all submitted. submitted. We've all got. We've all submitted for 15 years straight and never once got a live audition. I mean, is that hurtful? Oh, yeah. you've, oh you've never gotten a live audition? Oh, what time? Oh. People are like, what did you do SNL? I'm like, well, I've I don't gotten like know. three live auditions. I'm lying. And now I was like, what? Have I going to <laughs> you, you just dropped dead. My, You're like, my how did you get a live audition? You don't even, you don't even, do, you don't even do characters. I do, do characters. just not on camera. I just do them alone at, in my home. <laughs> you do them at home to Moki. <laughs> and then I go like, please keep this one to yourself. Yeah, keep this one's a little weird. Um, but yeah, that was my, my Lance rant. And New York was great. And I'm happy that that's done. And now I have like some time off. And, and that's great. And you got this fucking great video that's going to get you a special shot somewhere I honestly know. look and i'm not i'm not blowing smoke up your ass because you are one of my best friends uh we had the conversation this week we did i put <laughs> i put jess for the first time on my uh, as my <laughs> emergency <laughs> contact when i got my botox <laughs> so that if you're going to fucking shock with like uh, i was like i don't know dude, what, if oh. i had to pick you up from the hospital because your botox went wrong you would never live it down um <laughs> it was also yeah we, i gotta shout them out you got to go there. I um, DSM. Well, that's rude. D- no, is that what's called DSM? No one wants to be told you've got to go to this Botox place. <laughs> you no, you, I, well, you want Botox, but she was so fucking great. Nurse, uh, Marissa, yeah, DSM ath- Aesthetics. Um, out in fucking, it was far, but it was good. And also, I would go back alone because they have like, before they do it, like the person who like runs the thing has to come in and like double check you. Yeah. She's like, by the way, he's going to crack some jokes. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And he comes in with just like, you know, those classic, like working hard or hardly working. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like last on himself for five minutes. It was hilarious. And he's like, you're a comedian. <laughs> and then I was like, so ready for every joke. I was like, oh God. And then he wouldn't leave the room. And I was like, does this guy stay here? Like he was so funny. Wait, what are they? Okay. I've never had Botox. What is that? They have someone like what? Just they have check, like, a, like a nurse basically yeah. checking you in. The nurse does it. Like the one who's going to do it, but they have to have like the superior come in and just be like, I'm going to do this, this and this here and here. She's had it before, whatever. And he was like an older guy with like, for sure. He's had some work done. Oh, he was the, oh, he yeah. was the guy from fucking, <laughs> yeah, he, what was that? 30 year old? No, he looked good. Like, Cause he still was wrinkly, but he wasn't like w- too much. Like, yeah, I think he, he was just, like, I think she said he was like 83 and I was like, I'd fuck that 83 year old. <laughs> he just Look, looked like not a, anymore, but I would before Zach. Yeah. The only thing keeping you fucking from this 80 year old man making dad jokes in Westchester or wherever. I wonder if he puts Botox in the old Wang. Do you think that helps it? Maybe, maybe gets it harder or something. Yeah, it feels like it could. They do it for migraine. Smooth it out. 
Yeah, take out the yeah. veins. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Has <laughs> anyone ever gone in and been like, is there anything we can do about this vein, doctor? And they're like, what? why do you? Just... My dick has migraines. I need to put some shots into it. Well, that's what I wondered is like, how much can you get away with writing something off as migraines and like charge it as a medical thing? You could. Like, I have migraines in my tits. I need to get implants for my migraine <laughs> my nipples are aching they hurt. but look how good it looks no you look great it look you Can't look tell. natural Can't you look tell. just natural youthful. i'm gonna do youthful. a a fun there's a laser i'm gonna do a laser on my face fontana oh. laser apparently the kardashians just plugged it so prices are going through the god but i got fucking idiots uh they said that there's an up to five day recovery from what i've read online it's usually 48 hours but i'll just so i might have five days of looking like i got a hardcore sunburn oh which, like I'm doing Does five that? days before New Year's Eve, so we'll see if by New Year's Eve I'm not just like red faced and just chunks of my skin. Okay, off. but <laughs> leprosy. That's yeah, what happens. it's yeah. supposed to like take age spots out and like. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna try that, and then mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit of Botox, like here, just to like slow down the. Just, you don't. That's even, what you I said. Really I was don't like, have much though. I mean, I want to have expressions. You know how it yeah. is on stage. We're like. But then yeah, my eyebrows just go up and they don't come back down. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not surprised anymore. This is a, and there's me shoving my eyebrows <laughs> back into so place. Funny one just gets stuck. <laughs> like, hang on. Mm, uh, mm, pause mm, the tape, mm. please. <laughs> All right. Let's take this one from the top. <laughs> that would happen. I mean, yeah, fuck. I have to go back to something about vaping. Um, but we were also saying, you were saying something nice about me and I cut you off. Oh yeah. Um, you're, <laughs> I don't take compliments. Well, we're saying we're best friends. That's what it was. Oh so yeah. Yes. No, that really made my day. You also drunkenly messaged me on Oh, I sent you such, I was, I was like, <laughs> okay, Steph's in love with me. No, it was, was really cute. Oh, I, when I get like that kind of drunk, I get really sentimental. sentimental. No, it made me happy because oh, yeah. I feel that way. And I think that I'm too like that all the time. So I try to like. Fuck, don't be fu don't be creepy don't be weird with your friends i, I just it. love you so much i wasn't like that no i was she just was. being She's saying, like you're I the best thing that's ever happened <laughs> yeah, to me yeah 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 that's yeah. not true but that's absolutely not what i said uh, <laughs> yeah, not, i don't not. remember exactly it was nice it was about you know thing I, I sent one to you and i sent one to zach and that's that's the only people who got one. <laughs> oh wow i got the well hello yeah, and it was, a, it was a voice memo yeah 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 we love those voice memo no it's uh, great it's just like uh you know it's nice because when we started this, it was kind of like we were friendly and knew each other. And you never know how that's going to go. Yeah, you and Comedians. Laura were friends. And then when you asked me to do it, I was like, I was like, yeah, okay. she's funny. I was she like, I don't really know you guys. Us. I don't know. I, go, cool. I don't know you guys at all. But no, I knew Laura a bit. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I've seen you on shows and I don't really talk to anyone because I have social anxiety. So I stand in the corner going like, I feel like I could be friends with that person, but I'm afraid to say hi. <laughs> And always want to be on her podcast. And then I was like, I'm, yeah. Well, because we're all, every comedian's deranged. So, so yeah. like, sometimes you can really just not mesh. Uh-huh. And you're like, great, good. That happens quite a bit. But especially, like, it's so funny. Sometimes there's people who I know who you would think based on their styles of humor or sense of humor that they would get along great. Uh, but then know. it's almost like they're clashing because they're so similar. I don't know that they're just like, well, they're both angry. How are they supposed to hang out? Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, anyways, yeah. all that to say, all I'm that really to glad say. we're friends. Oh, what a sentimental episode. All that to say. Lame. Everyone's like, yeah, I was like, out. I'm fucking Get logging Laura out. back in there to yeah. tell them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I'm just so proud of you. What a fucking year you've had. It's, it's been, been a good year. I'm pumped up. You're, I mean, mm -hmm. you're doing it all. It's I happening. did. I will say I, I had a, a manifesting year for this year. I had a big whiteboard list. And uh, I, I crossed off all the big things. All the big things. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped. I got my, my podcast on a network, which that was a big deal for me. Oh, fuck. Because um, I've been is... trying for fucking three years. And then I got a late night spot, technically Netflix. Yeah. Um, that, I mean, which, those are the two big ones. That by was the it. way, yeah. uh, and not to throw, like any late night set is cool. Like it's, I would love to I see. So I'm saying this is someone who is like, has none. <laughs> I'm like, I was on Don't Tell's YouTube, which I love. The clip also, well. you, you so much. I'm not going to lie to you. You're getting more views on that than you would late night. Yeah, no, exactly. That's what I was just going like, to say. Seriously. Is like the Netflix is, you're going to get more eyes on you. No one's getting yeah. recognized on the street from just late night sets anymore. Very no, rare. I mean. It's how it is. It's the way the networks are going. Yeah. But man, I got to do a whiteboard. That's so do funny. Do a whiteboard. I used to have this whole sheet of paper. It was like a sheet of paper with post-its on it where I would put goals, active projects, and then like accomplishments. And I would move, put them on post-its and move them as I got them. Oh, that's nice. And I just never set it back up in my new place. And now I'm like, you know what? There is something about it just being in front of you. Yeah. Like you see yeah. it and it's like planting it in your mind to keep mm -hmm. working toward it. And I never really believed in the manifesting thing, but, and uh, I made a, I told Zach this too. I had a, I had a goals for my career list and I had a man list. 
and Zach fits every single you one did of the them, thing. but one. <gasps> What is it? It's not even bad. It's I, I said a guy six feet or taller and he's 5'11". <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, I mean, but I, I, again, I'm going to get hate on for making fun short men, but no, I, I well, mean. Well, you're dating a tiny. And all the, the, and the biggest five. one was that he loves Susan. That's And so... then seeing him with Susan this fucking last three weeks and watching her, him like tucking her into bed is like fucking making me physically ill. Like yes. I'm like, do I want a baby now? I'm like, no, I'm just going to be another dog. Or do you want a baby but, now? I don't know. No, I don't think so. You have a baby. We've he shot in there a couple of times. Nothing's happened. It's... Did you hear about this study? By the way, I shared it on my story. Oh, so what? This is no shade to Zach, but uh, there was a study out of Sweden, University of Stockholm, and it's a couple years old. But for some, somehow, I just stumbled upon it. There's research now showing that um, it's like pregnancy isn't about like the sperm making it to the egg in the first sperm. You're like. What they think is our eggs like emit signals. And when there's sperm in there, like it emits a signal that fully tells some sperm to turn around and then like gets other ones to like fight off other sperm. Multiple sperm make it to the egg and the egg chooses if it's going to allow one of those sperm in. Oh, really? So if you're a woman who's like struggling with infertility, maybe it's your partner's. Oh. And not to say there's anything wrong with your partner, but maybe those loads, the only ones making it, are these kind of like fucking, we got enough of this type of guy. Yeah, and yeah, And like, yeah, no, yeah. we don't need more of this plumber yeah. with the <laughs> dad jokes. We do need plumbers. We don't need any more internet trolls coming yeah. through these walls. No, but it's wild to think that like. Wow. Because I think, I mean, to my brain obviously went to like, wow, my body knows I fucked losers. And it's like, well, we're not gonna get taken down that easy no no yeah that's literally every guy i fuck my my eggs have been like no tall mm. we ain't doing this one let's take a quick break and come come back we're gonna do back. slob of the week we're gonna do a mailbag and fucking we'll be back oh my god we here we are can we're you back. believe it what a what a break we had thanks so if you're still here wow if thank we did you so listening. much during the break uh yeah we, we literally were- stopped Kept talking and then continued on. That's yeah. how the breaks go. We carried on. Can you our- imagine they actually, people think that we listen to the ads and then come back and go, whew. Well, how about that? Product. Wow. Those books, huh? Or whatever. I love reading. And I'm also incontinent. So that product is great for me. I piss my pants all the time. <laughs> so I support whatever that was. Um, I can't wait till we get ad reads and it's like, we're going to be getting ad reads. Oh, I can't wait. Like, I can't believe I I can't believe, the amount that we've all openly admitted to accidentally having some driplets and droplets. I can't believe yeah, we don't have someone yeah, knocking yeah. down dollops. Our, depends. Yeah, Why yeah, are you yeah, calling yeah, yeah. us? Yeah. Like what the fuck? And tushy. I literally had, I just bought Zach a tushy for fucking Christmas. Cause all he does is fucking shit. <laughs> that man shits more than anybody else in the world. Does he take long shits? Long. He's hanging out in there. So I got him the one with the fucking, the, the warm water. The warm water. Cause I'm like, his, it's anus is going to freeze off in fucking Salt Lake City. Oh, in Salt Lake City. Yeah. Oh my God. Can you imagine yeah. just fucking, it's cool enough in California. Oh, yeah, shards yeah, of yeah. glass going into your asshole. Oh, fuck. That'll teach you not to shit. That'll yeah. teach you not to shit. Um, I, oh, fuck. I totally lost my train of thought. We're uh, talking about, I, I'm still on the egg thing. That's really fucking dude, interesting. Dude, it's wild. Yeah. Cause it is like, oh, I mean, I make a joke where I'm like, I'm infertile. No one's confirmed that, but all these loads, but. It's crazy to think our bodies maybe are. I hate the word loads. You do. It's so, I, I'm the filthiest person in the world, but for is that some moist that for, for some reason that's where no, I love moist. Moist is great. What loads, is it? What does loads do to you? I, I, I just, for some reason, picturing the amount of that, it's like someone carrying like a big plastic bag of cum around. Like it's just disgusting. Yeah, well, when people fuck me, they come a lot. So wow, I don't know what to tell you. Loads. Insert sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you call it? Just jizz. Jizz or cum or stuff. Blobs of business. Semen. Yeah, blobs. Shards of. <laughs> Sperm. Just a little, little, just a whisper, a whisper of sperm. I like a whisper. It's nice. Yeah. Cleans it up a bit. I mean, I think a, lo- a load is like. Load, man. I picture, for a certain... picture you opening up a back of a U Haul and just cum drizzling out. It's disgusting. Load it in. Just God. dumping it on you. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Disgusting. I'm disgusting, though. I have the brain of. Just... So, oh, and I'm not. Yeah, it I'm, me, uh, honestly. The I'm loads are you. Like, loads is gross. Yeah, she started dating the sex Mormon. Now I can't say loads around. Yeah, her. yeah, yeah. Ugh, yeah. Kill oh, me. I'm going to uh, the Mormon Christmas, and I asked Zach today if there's a prayer, and he's like, no. I'm like, I think I'm going to do one just as a laugh. I'll be like, can I get his attention? <clears throat> 
Bless this meal. <laughs> After they see me on Netflix, like, my pussy's so my big. Pussy, like, bless this meal and bless the Lord. And God is great. God is good. <laughs> that would be so God is funny. God has given me this humor and is this God loves to watch me load. <laughs> um, <laughs> it the was laundry, a, get in the kitchen. You're we, a Mormon woman now. Can we say loads? Is it, I guess we just... I, I if, if it should be both ways, I'm gonna be like I'm gonna dump a load, a load of squirt. Ew. I squirted a whole load on his head. I squirted a whole analogy I mean, bottle. I should measure how much. There's times I don't know if my is it just that my pelvic floor is collapsing? Am I getting squirtier? Does it you get wetter with age? Squirtier. Why just like there's a lot of men in my past who could listen to this podcast and go she doesn't squirt and it's like oh. yeah well is that, is that, is that on you? Man, I got to look at my list of, I made a man list once. I think that everyone should do it. It's nice. It, even like, it's just like a partner list in general, just like a nice thing to be like, and it wasn't like crazy things. Now that we're like hottest man alive. It was just like, you know, like ni- kind, Hairs? nice man finds me hilarious was the first one. Is, imp- is that's, that's important. Clean. Yeah. I, which is a big, I, it's, it's insane how many people are filthy as hell. Pigs. Pigs. And I say that as someone blinkers. who's pretty messy, but not you're messy, but you're not dirty. No, and that's there's a very there's big a distinction. Yeah. Um, like you have a lot of stuff around, but it's not stinky stuff. Yeah, I'm scatterbrained, but yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I don't have like old food. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like you've it's like your room, you're like your dresser, you're like oh this. I, the first Covered time I came over, the first time I came over, you're like I'm cleaning this up. And I came over like five months later, I'm like. Still clean Still that there. dresser, huh? Still clean that dresser, huh? Look, it's ADHD. The dresser is just a big table now. It holds stuff. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, yeah. It gets clean for five minutes, and I'm like, wow, there's so much space on this dresser. I should put stuff here. Yeah. It's hell. It is hell. Um, Let's go to fucking... Slob uh, of the week. Slob of the week. You... I can go first. I feel like you... you, you last week, I was very cocky with mine being yeah, the winner. But I this mean, week, I think uh, I might not. So I'm... To San Diego this past weekend at the Grand Comedy Club. It was a fun show. It was actually a lot of people came out and drove from San Diego, which is 40 minutes. That was closer, but it was very nice. Of That's them so out. awesome. Yeah, it was an Escondido is what it was called. Yay, I'll be there with Laura yeah. in uh, February. He was very pumped. He was pumping after the, the shows. Yeah, go see uh, them there. It was, I don't know, there's just, usually now when people come to my shows, I, of course, it's majority women. Yes, that's the yes, goal. That is the goal. I, hello, also, I get it. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. It's yeah. more relatable. I understand. Yeah. So Pussy. it's usually yes. I get it. So it's also like women this age, day, all this whatever shit, whatever. Yeah. So it's usually women or single guys alone, which there was a couple. You got a lot of single guys. There was alone. a couple. That was a big sniff because there was one there, and I almost was late walking the stage. He's wearing flip flops, and he's like, "I'm like, can you hurry up? It's fucking winter, and you're wearing flops. And you're flopping so you're into the show. Sick. So." I like I'm just like, looking out in the lighting. You can kind of see everybody in there. So this table of like six guys, and I was like, "The fuck is this?" I'm like, "No women at the table." He's like, "No." I'm like, "What the hell?" My, like, you guys came specifically to see me. And the one guy's like, "Yeah, yeah." He's like a huge fan. I was like, "Oh yeah." I'm like, "Alone?" I'm like, "You guys all single?" And the, some of them said, "Yeah." And he's like, "Oh, the one guy talking." He's like, "Oh no, I have a wife." And I'm like, "Where's she?" Yeah, where the fuck is your wife? He goes, "At home." She hates your comedy. And I was what? like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and I was like, he's like, yeah, sorry. She just really didn't want to come. And I was like, that bitch. That fucking. That fucking. That, she this is my slob of the comedy? week. comedy? I hate when women hate my comedy. Yeah. You could not find me funny. You find, can be like, it's not my style. It's not my style. Fine. Everything I say, you have done at some point in your fucking life. Oh, Everything, yeah. It's, it's, it's A like, thousand percent. And I guarantee they hate it because they're like, I don't want to think about the Because what we say is like. A lot of our stuff is yes. like embarrassing truth. Yes. Oh, you've never farted during sex in your life? Okay. You find sex, you don't find it disgusting the second it's finished? You've never looked at your husband's pee hole while he's fucking titty fucking you? Yes, you have. All of these things you've done, you <laughs> want to fucking think about it? It's psychotic. I was like, it, it threw me off so much. I was like, oh my God. And then I was like trying to move on. I kept thinking about this woman. I'm like, and then he like, he like posted a story afterwards being like, hey, great show, whatever. Steph told us later. Now you're just her. thinking about his wife being but, like. And then I literally said, tell, tell your wife, I say hi. I was literally like making jokes. How I was like, I was like going to go home after the show and like be like, hello, can I ask what, what, what you don't like? <laughs> go home. But then I noticed he posted a story about me and isn't following me. I'm like, I guarantee you his she's wife like, was like, don't fucking follow her. Find you, go see her show. She's disgusting. She's talking about her vagina. Yeah. And it's like, bitch, you have a vagina. Yeah, you have a vagina. And your husband fucking needs out so shut the fuck up uh, I mean, that's I mean, my stop of the week it was just like really i just i just can't this is like also relating to i think last week too i talked about a woman not supporting other women it's like so yeah. insane that this is still happening oh another stop of the week sorry quickly tying this uh-huh. one in i we all know i i 
bluntly make fun of Crystalia. I do it all the time. We do. Again, another reason I will remind people, I know someone personally, he did it too. Uh, she was 17 at the time. It's, it's more of a connection when you know that it's, it, it, it happened. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm not, not going to get my rant. So I make, I have a Crystalia joke. I do it. And some girl goes, what the fuck? I love Crystalia. And I'm like, he doesn't like what? you, you old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. I was like, I'm sorry. What? She, like, what's wrong with him? I go, and then my whole soul sucked out of my ass. I'm like, what do you mean? What's wrong? And she had no idea. Hadn't, hadn't heard of any That's of it. That's the thing. Is it was that like crazy. Well, and then she didn't like me anymore after I started screaming about how much I hate him. Also, the end of my set, everyone's like, I'm killing him. And all of a sudden, I'm doing this like really serious rant at the end. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. It's just like two I, slobs, two slobs a week. That's how do you know? And I, I told him, go home and look at the Reddit thread. Yeah, you can be mad at me, but I didn't like. If you ever, if you're ever at the store and you want to see this Reddit thread, just hit up Ryan Sickler. He's got, he's got it on the ready on his phone. That guy, That's that guy, so he's got a highlight. It's hilarious. He's like, you ever read this part? I'm like, I don't want to read it again. I, it's like, you ever seen this? Psychotic. Hey, did you just check out this part? It's crazy, man. He's fucking. <laughs> yeah, he, li- he literally, he hasn't memorized at this point. It's like saved in his phone. It you is. Know, no, he, I swear to God, it's his, his phone background. It's <laughs> just like, <laughs> in, on like what other planet is like, oh man, but that pedophile does silly voices. Insane. No, leave him alone. It's like fucking. It's creepy. Insane. It's creepy. It's creepy. And like every uh, other people came up to me after, they're like, "What is he? What?" And people didn't even know who he was, and I was like, "That's hilarious." I mean, that never heard of him. Like, that's that's. Well, there you funny. go. That's the, anyway, so then you win. That's it. Do I talk so, about him all the time? Yeah. I, mean, like I can't wait for him to hear this. He'll never hear this. No, he. Would and if never he does, he doesn't care. To our podcast. No, we're my all God. over thirty. What is he listening? And if anyone's for? here that's a fan of Dilly listening to this podcast, yeah, odd. Yeah, very well, odd. Like, like, look, you like them. Go ahead. You like what you like, but I don't think you'd like us. No. And it is like, it's like, okay, I get that. Like, if you don't know, that is a hard thing to be like, oh, this person that I, uh, they were always that nice used, to me yeah, or like, yeah, they yeah, made yeah. me yeah. laugh. But it's like, okay, well, you don't have to like monetarily keep supporting them. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing yeah. That yeah. They're, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Who's your slob? That's, that's so I, a, a double slob. It says a lot about me that I'm more upset about the woman not supporting women now that I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys want to fuck kids, but lady, yeah. come on, <laughs> be better. I just, it's, you know what? It took me a while to get out of. I have a mom that uh, was very like mean toward women. So it took me a long time to not, I had the women are a competition thing in my head for yeah. a long time. And it's like, yeah, again, you don't have to love what someone's doing, but also just a woman being out there succeeding in a male dominated field is good for all women. It, that's it. That's all it is. It's just like, hey, we can meet the bar where it's at instead of needing it lower. But it's also like you wouldn't doing. just go with your husband who's clearly a fan. Like you, you were that repulsed by me yeah. that you made your husband go find friends to come to the show because you, you refused to come see me. That's in, I That's went to the crazy. LA auto show. Literally. Me, yeah, okay. Yeah. They try to get me to go too. I'm like, I'm going to the If I can show. stare at a line, people in lines looking at Porsches, you can go watch It's Steph. one hour. Like, literally. That's, it's just fucking. Maybe I'm her Crystalia. Yeah. Maybe she hates me that much. Like, <laughs> that's what she just fair. talks to everyone And fair about for it. you not to come. Fair like for if you you're passionate come. about yeah. it, at yeah, least yeah. you're spreading the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it is like, I think so, it's, it's projection. It's like women yeah. not wanting to see something oh, yeah. in themselves or mm-hmm. like, it's so dumb. Yeah, it definitely is, which is, yeah. like, who's your slob? I mean, my slob of the week is just a random man in Georgia who <laughs> uh, was arrested after replying to the sheriff department in his town's most wanted post. So uh, <laughs> there's a county in Georgia called Rockdale County, and the sheriff's office posted a uh, most wanted list for November. Uh, okay. A couple weeks ago. They're like, this is our most wanted list. If you guys, you know, have seen any of these people, know what their whereabouts, you know, we're asking the community to keep an eye out. Yeah. Great. This man replies on the post, how about me? No. He has two warrants for his arrest. The cops are like, you are correct. You have two warrants. We're on the way. They showed up at That's his house and arrested so him. so funny. Like, <laughs> That guy is such a, what a moron. What a idiot. It's just like. Hey, I'm on, 
I gotta be on that the list. The arrogance. It's also, it makes me wonder, like, what's going on in your brain? Like, was he literally like, can't believe I didn't make the, this yeah. is like us being like, I'm not on Variety. Yeah, that's to watch again. <laughs> that's exactly like, what it is. Five years in a row, I'm never on the most wanted list. Come on. I've raped that's everyone in this town. so fucking funny. <laughs> that is insane. And they straight up arrested him. It's just like, what are you doing? That, nothing. That guy's got no life. The, it's like the amount of crime stories. I can't. I don't watch true crime for a lot of reasons. One, not the least of which being, I have a lot of friends that were victims of true crime, so it's horrifying. Yes. But like... Yes, you do. <laughs> you really do. I have so many murdered friends. You really there, do that we decided to talk about uh, at 2 a.m. driving on these windy roads coming back into California. Uh, so anyways, all my friends were shot in their head by their mom. And I'm just like, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you need me to drive. <laughs> and then I'm all fucking jacked up on caffeine. Like, everybody uh, I love is dead. Hold on for dear life. <laughs> no, but it's, it's just like fucking more than being like, in theory, triggered watching stuff. I get so mad about how stupid people are. Mm -hmm. Every time you watch and it's like, and then he put his dumb, stinky, sticky pancake hands all yeah. over the door and they found his fingerprints everywhere. It's the stupidest shit. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm, you can't be evil and stupid. You I mean, can. you can. Everyone that does. Guy right Most there. of them are. That guy, yeah, that guy right there. If anything, it should be reassuring that there's like probably not an evil mastermind out there. It's a bunch of idiots who frankly probably what, hit their yes. head as a kid and now they just like don't know how to rationalize their emotions. So like, I'll just murder everyone. But that's what's scary. I can't read them because then I get, uh, when you see these like weird, I'm like, oh, it'll never happen to me. Then you see these like weird things that happen. I'm like, oh, good. The people who are like, it'll I'm never scared. happen to me. How do, how do you feel that way? I because everything I read, I go, it will all happen to me. Yeah, no, I'm terrified. Anytime I'm at like a cottage alone, I'm like, there's a guy in the woods waiting. I, I one time convinced myself, it was me and an ex-boyfriend at my parents' cottage. They left us there for like, it was like, we were younger, probably in our 20s. And the alarm clock went off at like 2 a.m. <gasps> and I convinced myself that it was a man with a chainsaw in the woods that was letting us know it was time to die. And That's I was fucking... up all night just staring out the window. It was like crazy. Like, why would I think that? No, well, yeah. Why would you make such an elaborate story? Very the elaborate way story. I can take a tiny noise and be like, there's someone outside my mm -hmm. door right now that it's like a bird could Kr! in the night. And I'm like, that's a man sharpening a knife. Yes. Right outside my well, window. Then, then which check... is, by the way, on the second floor. There's not a say, man outside my window. Also, that's if you fucking check Citizen app, that's what's happening. Oh. There's a man wielding a fucking knife inside your window. So the it's man like it's wielding psychotic. a pipe. Have I told that story on this yeah, podcast? Yeah, I think so. Because it's every day that there's a new pipe. That I was on, a, I come home. You're not going to believe this. My, Nicole Amy Shriver, when she was my roommate, there's a man wielding a pipe on our street. Yeah, I ran from him. Yeah. He, uh, he wielded it there. at me. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it's he also terrifying. looked like, fuck, I wish I could remember what actor he looked like. It's just so scary out there. But also, it is scary. It's like, what's the right answer? Like, consume everything so you can be prepared, or mm -hmm. just like ignore most of it and hope for the best, which is what I mostly do. Yeah, but I don't fucking. I don't fucking know. No, there's no right answer. I don't know. There's no right answer. There's no right answer. Wait, I want to go back really quick to the vaping. We got all the way around because okay. I want to bring something Let's, up to you and okay. get your opinion on it. Um, so a couple nights ago, I was at Nate's house and I went to throw something away in his trash can, and I saw the back of a vape box which I just saw the warning and I was like, are those cigarettes? Cause I haven't. Uh -huh. And I picked it up and I was like, Oh, it's vapes. Here's the thing. I didn't know Nate vaped. I was like, jewel. And he didn't hear me say jewel. He just, I, and I went, do you vape? And he's like, what, why, where did that come from? And I'm <laughs> and like, like, I was rooting through your trash like a raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, Cause then I go <laughs> and I'm like, well, do you, he's like, like a, every once in a while, but what made you ask that? And I was like, well, the there's a vape thing in your trash can. And he's like, did you just go through yeah, my trash? Hey, George Costanza, what are you <laughs> like, doing? No, I opened the trash. There happened to be a vape thing, but. Happened at the bottom of the trash the can. No, it was you literally You have a banana right peel on your head. You're like, oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> It was at the top, I swear. <laughs> just There's stink lines crumb. coming off of you. <laughs> like, yeah. like big Flies all over your head. Yeah, and did I, I mean, was it like I opened and looked in there because, so when I'm at Nate's and I am on my period, I'll throw my thing away in his like 
kitchen trash can where there's a lid. He has a dog. I don't okay, know. Okay, you don't want to carry, I don't want a carrying around your bloody tampon around the house? Yeah, and I like kind of, I don't need to. It's not like he doesn't know that women have tampons, but I kind of try to like put it under something to like not have like. You're a, so nice. So he doesn't open it and that that's his box of vape. <laughs> But is it weird that he, like, is it weird that that didn't come up? I was like, I don't, I was like, no. He was like, you've never asked if I vaped. But I'm like, well, if asked if you smoked, I would think that you would go, no, but sometimes I vape. No, because if he if he's not doing it around you, you're around him a lot. Yeah. Maybe he just does it like here and there. Like well, some that's people what just he like, said. yeah. He's like, I'll do it like once or twice a week in the middle of the day in my oh, room. Oh yeah, that's nothing. And then he's, and I was like, well, I know, but like, why wouldn't it come up? He's like, you didn't ask me. And then I'm like, well, do you have sex with men? Like, what do I have yeah, to yeah. ask you everything? <laughs> and he's like, of course I do. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, underneath that was a bunch of condoms yeah, from a man. From a another man. man. Yeah. <laughs> and a little sign that says these are not needed. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that sounds ridiculous. I mean, yeah. <laughs> when did you start using condoms? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, just, I mean, I don't think, no, I think, if, especially if it's a jewel, it's like, those are pretty light too. I don't think it's like. My just like. If it was like a pack of smokes, like dirty, well, that's because like, at first I was like, "Is he fucking closet smoker?" And more important, like, how do I not smell it? That's the thing. Also, if you're not smelling the vape it. at all, then yeah, he's he's not doing it a lot. He's, he's like, a clean man. Yeah. Well, he was like, "I like you." I didn't want to like lead with. I vape sometimes. Yeah. I vape what is it? Sometimes. Yeah. I'm like, I guess. No, you don't I don't have think to that's disclose a... that. Yeah. No. But it was a moment where I felt weird about it, and then I was like, "This is not something to get mad about," but I felt weird. Yeah. No, and I didn't I get, get mad. But is it weird that for a second I felt weird? Yes. No, 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 not at all. No, no, I don't think it is. And then I started, It's just like you, because you, because you spiral being like, what else is he hiding? And that's exactly it. But it's, that's. Because yeah, that was that's your brain. Yeah. Because you go like, well, mm -hmm. if you're vaping, you might as well be texting sluts. Yeah. And it's like, that's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. That's not where it goes. What's happening. Not at all. <sighs> I just had to But share I get it. it. No, yeah. I get it. Do you, I, I mean, this is a weird thing to ask on a podcast. Do you have any like secret little things that, that I you do? do that you like haven't told Zach about that are like um <laughs> I don't want to say it in case he listen that's so funny because you know what I'm realizing my embarrassing thing is which I'll just say out loud there's probably other ones but like I'm embarrassed like I'm sitting here going it's kind of weird you didn't tell me that you vape when I'm embarrassed that I have number games on my phone that I sometimes play he'll be like what are you doing and I'm like nothing and I'm like playing a sudoku and I'm like I'm a bit embarrassed of that. And I'm like, why wouldn't you tell me you vape? Honestly, I, I, I think I blab too much. Yeah. I think no. I'm a blabber. I think sometimes I say. Things, I, you I, you I, cross the line. Yeah. And you I like, overshare. I overshare. And I also yeah. like, sometimes I think I say that I didn't watch porn when I masturbated, but I did like stuff like that. Like, but oh. like, I think I'm just like, Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't like to share everything. Yeah, I think no. I share enough. I think I share too much. You, you, that's it's so funny because you're not and making me realize. I think I lie realize. sometimes and say how, how how much I do masturbate. And and I did I did lie. The one thing I did lie about is because he he doesn't really jerk off a lot. That's what Nate was like. Yeah, no, I like he like, like saves I, or whatever I have fuck sex it is with you. And that's and where those like, big loads come from. <laughs> um, but I <laughs> I I lied and I said one week that I didn't and I did like three times a day. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I, a, I can keep doing it. No, I no, problem. me too. And it's so funny you're saying this now, and I'm like, oh, I, Sudoku's not my thing. It's, I, I masturbate lie. regularly. I masturbate at least three times a and day. And he may assume that, but it has never come up, so. Oh, I told, because well, one time I told Zach, he's like, you're doing too much. I'm like, no, then I'm like, fine, I'll go a whole week. Yeah, it's also like, I, am I, went, I doing I it too much? I 12 hours, I was like. <laughs> like, you're not here. You're not here. And it's also like, even if they are here, it's like, well, if you're too busy, also, if I'm I still coming. Come, I'm still coming from you having sex with me all of the time, anyways. Yeah, it's, it's not, not like, like I'm not. It's not like I'm blasting my clit off with the and thing then and you're I can't just do it. They're like, oh, I wish this was just me alone with my vibrator. Yeah, no, no, no. That's yeah. I masturbate a lot. You ever like go to do it the like second time in the day and you're like, is this getting out of hand? Oh yeah, I the, 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 yesterday I came home immediately blasted it off for no <laughs> reason, and then I literally did two more times. I'm in bed. I, like, sometimes I start doing it. I'm like. I'm not even in the mood. I just, it's, it's happening. just here. Like, oh, time for bed. I don't, no, I don't me even too. want this right now. What am I? It's sick. Every we time I lay. Yeah, I know. Cause I'll be like, I need a nap. I'm it's tired. It's addictive. We're also, it's this fucking age. I'm telling you right now. I was not like this when I was younger. I, the second I fucking hit 30 years old, I was like, I need it every minute of every fucking day. No, I thought 30 was, I was like, this is unbearable. And now that I'm in my mid thirties, I'm like, that was nothing. Yeah. I'm like dying over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll literally genuinely need a nap. I'm exhausted. And I lay down and I'm like, 
Well, I have to masturbate. Yeah, no, I know. I'm like, <laughs> well, I got to get the, the pre nap masturbation out of the way. And, and then, then I do. And then I lay back down. I'm like, well, that wasn't enough. I need to do it. Oh, you double. I sometimes don't go I back wake up dubs. mid. Sometimes I wake up halfway between when I'm planning to wake up from the nap and I'm like, I got to masturbate again. Oh, wow. Because it's a lot. just like, it's like my, it, it's kind of like you get going and your vagina's like, hey, we're not done here. <laughs> like, as my pussy's like, I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking over here. I'm I got pussies from New York. New huh? York video. Over here. Yeah, it's... Okay. I feel... I think I get... I feel I much do, more yes. assured about the jewel thing now that I realized how much I masturbate. I also would have done the exact same thing. It's just like one of those... Oh, I would have done the exact same thing. I would think I would know about this by now. Yes. And yeah. yeah. I can't get into my big argument I had with Zach because I already... Well... I did the Guys We Fuck podcast and I talked about it on there in full. And I'm like, you know, if he hears it on here, I can't be. In case there's any crossover. Someday. Yeah, I don't think crossover. I know like, what it was. And someday I just don't we'll have a right theoretical we'll have, conversation. Yes. Because be other women week. deal with it. Who knows? It. it might be next week. Yeah. It might be next week. Let's do really quick. We got some uh, slobs mail. And listen, we've got a bunch. And we're going to read one, uh, a slob story. And again, to remind you guys, you can send your slob stories to us. We're having so much fun. Slobspod at yeah. gmail.com. Yep. Um, Okay, so this one came in after our first episode with Slob's Meal dropped. Um, <clears throat> and I think it's great. So after listening to this week's podcast episode, the story about the guy trying to suck his own dick reminded me of a story about my husband. Oh, no. What an intro. Uh, he is a recovering heroin addict and said that when he would withdraw, this is so topical, he would masturbate to feel better. Mm-hmm. And then in parentheses, she writes, very weird to me. I don't know anyone who feels up to that while feeling like death. I'm also a recovering addict and never once had this desire. He's a crazy person. <laughs> uh, it is funny because I think of like heroin withdrawals as like convulsing and like vomiting. And you're like, I just got to just knock gotta one get out. Gotta knock one out quick. Just anything to take my mind off of it. Uh, so I guess one time he got curious about butt stuff because a guy friend said it felt good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is where you go, men... You don't think with the head on your shoulders all the time. He saw an old wooden handled plunger no. in his parents' bathroom and thought, hey, this looks like the moment to experiment. A plunger. A wooden handled plunger. Slivers. A slivery, poo-soaked wood stick. At first I was like, that's disgusting. It's a plunger. And then I'm now I'm like, I guess you're like, it's already touched butt no, stuff. No, no, it's got to be clean. No. That's, but it's is, somebody else's butts. No, this is You're disgusting. Putting somebody else's butts. Somebody stuff. else's hands. Somebody else's butt fingers are going on there. Yeah, they probably just touched. The Bathrooms are disgusting. Ah, uh, he didn't use any lube, <laughs> and tried to sit on it. As someone who, I, and I, I don't think I'm weird for doing this. Any, like I think most women or anyone is like maybe something in your butt does feel good. You do like a tip of the pinky. You do a small thing. Yeah. You, yeah. You yeah, tried to yeah. sit on a wooden plunger. Even a pickle at this point. Like, I don't know what to tell you. This a is, pickle. I don't know. Pickles are nice it size. Smushes. Uh, that's a thick. Oh, I'm thinking of, I guess they have smaller pickles. You think those ones that come in the bags that at 7-Eleven? No, no, not those pickle. fucking giant. Right, like an individual pickle. He always no. really big. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm a Vlasic, a classic <laughs> Vlasic in the jar. Nice and wet, hard, fresh, crunchy. Uh -huh. Vlasics. <laughs> we have to get them. Get them here. Us. Put them in your ass. Or put them in a lunch. <laughs> you could do both. Eat ass. Eat pickles. Uh, he didn't use any lube and tried to sit on it. Well, it made it in to some degree successfully. No. And resulted in a sliver. Of course. Quite a large one. Sticking right out of his asshole. No. Oh my God. No. So no. then... He had to call his mom to come help him. Get no, it. no. And I, how would you explain that to your mother? Mom, I tried to fuck the plunger in the in the bathroom. Yeah, well, that's what I want to know. If you this can send us sick. a follow up, because she said she wrote, "LOL." His mom confirmed that this was a true story, because she is like, "Oh, I am gonna ask her about this." Oh, I want to know if he God. told her what happened, or if he's like, "I slipped and fell on the plunger." I took such a big poo poo. I slipped on the plunger. I was afterwards. standing up and I just I went whoa 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 right <laughs> on the plunger. Whoa. And you didn't hear anything until. Oh God. Uh, I can't believe they go to the hospital. They didn't go in too far or like puncture no. something. It's or very that unsafe. Or just like a piece of wood living in you. Ugh. I don't want to raise any fears, but my aunt termites. had a problem going with termites. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, just living in your anus. Ew. Hello. Mm. Good morning. <laughs> Talk any about more, any more wood for me? 
<laughs> we both the same time. <laughs> Why do we think a termite was a beaver? <laughs> Dude, yeah, I wonder if you like zoomed in under a microscope if t- termites have giant. I don't like that. That's gross. Um, they were dating. She said we were dating six months when he told me this. We've been together for almost eight years now. Oh, LL. Wow. Both have eight years clean in the next couple months. Congratulations. Congrats. That is huge. Huge. Mm-hmm. Especially, dude, to fucking get a wooden plunger sliver in your ass and not fall off the wagon is pretty impressive. Yeah. Unless yeah. the story was yeah. actually, yeah. no, it seems like it was post withdrawing. Because a little bit more, I'm like, well, if someone was just heroined out of their mind, I could see them being like, what's this going to yeah. feel like? But if they were on that much heroin, they're not, you're not moving around, you're just sort of laying there. No. She said, also, I'll be seeing JMS in Grand Rapids in January. I'm so excited. Well, that's fine. Stay Slobby, ladies. Love the podcast. Was number three on my Spotify wrapped into the oh, year. Oh, that's yes. fine. Thank yeah, you, we were on a few of those. That's Abby. Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah, thank you for tagging us in your... We've got a bunch of them. We're making top yeah. five lists. Great. Thank you. Thanks mm-hmm. for listening. Um, I will be in Grand Rapids. Yeah, what the, 12th through the 14th. What are other dates? Uh, this is coming out after I've already left Sacramento, so you missed me there. Uh, if you're in LA on January 20th, I'm doing a new show in the Belly Room called Joke Revival, where I'm going to get some comics yet to be named who to come on and uh, read from their old joke notebooks, mm-hmm. riff around on old bits. We'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I think I'll be fun. And then uh, February 4th and 5th, if that's a Friday, Saturday, whatever that weekend is, I'm in New Smyrna Beach at Madcap's Comedy Club. And the weekend after that, I will be at Grand Comedy Club Escondido with Lara. Great. Yeah. What Aren't I on your Joke Revival show? You, I thought you said you weren't available. Well, then Steph is on it. January 20th. I had to move it. Oh, January 20th? I think I'm... Oh, no, I'm not here. The fuck? <laughs> I thought I was. Okay, Nobody's when does this come here. out? When the, when the fuck am I saying is this? This is coming out the week of Christmas, by the way, if you're a the Christmas week celebrator. Of Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. We'll be in the thick of Hanukkah, I believe, when this drops. Well, then, uh, if this is the week of Christmas, uh, oh. No, the beginning of it. The 26th? No, this is the 19th. 19th. Well, then, yeah, come see me in Salt Lake City, motherfuckers. Uh, I'm at. <laughs> motherfuckers sorry (laughs) you fucking idiots Uh, i'm at wise guys doing a one-nighter because i will be in salt lake for the mormon christmas so come see me before the mormons transform me um the new year's eve zany's rosemont be there yes december 29th to 31st then i'll be at mill i'll be in milwaukee milwaukee improv january 12th to 14th uh and then i will be at the crest theater in sacramento on the 19th one night only no sorry the 20th maybe that's what it was doing a theater in sacramento Sacramento. and then it's about to drop the announcement i will be coming to canada finally for crying out loud they like me again because i'm doing well (laughs) kill me uh the 24th of february i'll be at the biltmore cabaret in vancouver for just for last northwest then the next day the 25th i'll be in seattle at the crocodile and the 26th i'll be at helium portland so come to those shows for god's sake yeah sakes. pacific northwest go see her go see her go see her also if you're making spring break plans with your ladies or you want to just get away we are going to be at the riot festival in yes. houston march 23rd through 26th i will also be in seattle but it's not till at the hereafter as well but not till april 15th we're also doing a slobs live we are join our patreon yeah right join our patreon join our patreon i don't know what you're talking about. i'm making a, a slobs patreon do we oh yeah well, no yeah. we have a patreon like, patreon.com slash slobs yeah. or slobs pod uh join and once we hit uh our first goal we'll start doing bonus episodes we're mm-hmm. gonna have live uh live streams live live streams live live and, live streams um, and i think we probably will do a slobs live again some sometime in town but there will be a slobs live at that festival is that what you meant yes that's what i meant okay. slobs live at the festival i was like oh god i've come and i'm making a, a tiktok this week so we're gonna have a slobs tiktok so yes. get follow that well, it'll be probably just slobs pod on tiktok yeah and we're also on youtube you can watch the full videos mm-hmm. uh so come see all of our stupid faces and um that's that and there it is laura will be back next week yeah happy holidays stay safe yeah i hope you get all the presents you're hoping for by the time this is out i'll be in santa barbara happy christmas Christmas or hanukkah or kwanzaa festivus other things other things all the things okay i got a day sir bye (laughs) i'm walter cronkite (laughs) follow the podcast at slobs pod Follow me at Lara Bites. Follow me at Steph Tolev. Follow me everywhere on the internet at JMS Comedy. <laughs>